Hello everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies and we've had a customer send this airbrush in stating that he believes it is the needle bearing which is causing issues with the airbrush and as can be seen it is the 150 Badger airbrush. The customer has returned the needle bearing that he purchased from ourselves and decided he couldn't fit it himself. This is the actual airbrush and this is my first look at the airbrush and it does look rather clean and all the parts seem clean and okay. Now I haven't asked oh, the customer why he thinks the issue is the needle bearing although the needle will not come out of the airbrush and we'll take our padded grips try and pull it out As we can see there is a lot of dried paint down the bearing. Other than that the needle has been straightened at some point because it has got a kink in it and I believe I can see uh, grip marks on the uh, needle so because we have got this dry paint and the hole on the tip does look rather enlarged Try and get that to focus. The hole on the tip does look as though it's enlarged quite a bit. So I think the first thing I would do is strip, take the head off, put it into soak, have a look down the airbrush uh, once I've got the head off to see I'm going to take the head off have a quick look there the other ring looks in good condition remove the trigger linkage so that we can have a peer into the rear of And it does look like the needle bearing is there, but down the front here, I can see dry paint sticking in the airbrush there. So I think the first job will be to put it in to soak. And As you can see in the cup that we soaked, the main body part after we'd taken it all apart and we put the spray regulator and the head with the tip attached in there you can see there is quite a few debris in there and having removed the needle bearing as you can see this was rather caked up with a lot of dried paint I'm assuming and the actual needle bearing is well and truly caked up with it and this was holding everything into the airbrush and causing the major issues now the rest of the parts as they are very very clean I've just wiped them round with a damp tissue 
of uh, with uh, cleaner on it and these are all looking fine and healthy uh, so we will now reassemble the airbrush we will refit a new needle bearing this is just to show where the actual needle bearing fits The actual needle bearing fits inside the airbrush from the front and will be seated in this sort of area here. And to fit this I shall be using the tool to push it in. It is good practice just to measure everything up so you know roughly where it's going to be. So push it in, I just put my thumbnail there so that I can use it to measure that the needle bearing has just gone past the suction feed part of the airbrush where the paint comes up and if I look down the chamber here I shouldn't be able to see the needle bearing inside there, it should be just beyond that. Then I will use the reaming tool to ream out any burrs that may have been caused by fitting the needle bearing and just because I don't like having all dirt and muck around I shall just wipe this all to one side so we're working in a clean area we don't want to go putting any of the dried paint parts back into the airbrush um, so now I will use the needle just very gently put it through to make sure it's going to slide through you do want a little resistance because the needle bearing is to help stop in fluid coming back into the airbrush. So you do want a little resistance but you don't want it holding up. And as you may see here there's a little chamfer that came off the needle bearing after we've done the reaming. Now I shall use the airline just to make sure there's no other little bits in there now we'll lubricate all the airbrush up to get it all fitted check it's all working back to the customer now if you've watched our previous videos you will have noticed I do like to use plenty of um, lubricant because it does make action of the airbrush and this is the Badger Reg Tab Needle Juice Airbrush Lubricant and as I say I do like to use plenty of it it really does help with the friction and it does not cause any issues with your paint uh, because you will blow it out before you go with airbrush cleaner or your paint thinner whatever paint you're using just to clear out any of the lubricant that is sitting around refit all the parts lubricating as we go along and as I say we've had people asking will or does the lubricant harm your paint we use badger paints and we've never found it to harm anything but as I was saying earlier always before you start painting with your airbrush blow it out and then put some cleaner stroke thinner into your airbrush uh, all the parts are finger tight except for on this particular airbrush it does have a bolt on head and we only do a nip up on that just wiping off any excess and with our padded pliers I do, do just 
very gently nip up the air valve onto the airbrush. Sleet the trigger. Place some lubricant down the needle. Just pushing the needle forward and that's as much pressure as going to be needed. Put the needle chuck on, unlock that into place and everything seems to be fine. And we'll now fit the hose. I don't have a tray with the shoe that I will spray into. And as you can see, or hopefully can see, the excess lubricant has come out. And we'll connect a jar because this is suction feed and this has just got water in. Just check, everything's working. Try the airbrush. And everything's fine there, even at low pressure. Everything seems to be fine. So I'll now test this just for my own peace of mind with a little bit of paint. Blow the airbrush out again, wipe it round, and this airbrush is good to go back to the customer. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you for watching our videos.